Hello guys and welcome to the part 21 of this series where I try to show you my tips and tricks and the way I learned for this exam and what helped me actually to understand some basic concepts and actually to pass the exam. So for um, today I'd like to go a bit deeper into Azure storage account and Azure Blob services because firstly it's a topic we didn't discuss much about and secondly is something I'd say it's something not difficult to understand or to answer a question like that if you understand the input and the use case. So as usual I structured the information in a way that it's uh, clear for me and that uh, where actually I can remove all the things that might confuse me. Because remember, for the exam, you can get a very big use case and you need to extract only the information that you need. And you also need to know how not to get distracted in all that, um, in all that text, in all that story, if you want. Because uh, another thing that I uh, learned and that I noticed for this exam is that you get a lot of information and some people, I know that some people can, don't have enough time to read everything. And in my opinion, you only need half of the time or maybe 75% of the time in order to read and to answer all the questions if you know, if you have the right strategy for that. So, if we go back to our question, we have multiple objects. Uh, so, actually, um, well, I, I'd like to go a bit um, uh, backwards. And for this use case, we use um, Azure Storage Account. We have multiple objects. I exemplified only four objects here, but you can have as many objects as you want that are stored in Azure Storage Account. And this company we are talking about uses Azure Blob services. Now, what they are trying to do is actually to create a lifecycle management rule that would allow you actually to change these objects to a different tier if they haven't been modified the past X number of days. So in our case, we'd like to move any object that hasn't been modified for the past 30 day, days to cool tier. And if an object hasn't been modified the past 90 days, it should go, it should be archived. So, um, of course, this is, uh, once again, this is a very um, short explanation and a very short schema of the use case for the exam, try to do the same. Of course, if you have another strategy is your option, but um, it helped me a lot to, uh, to do like this. In my mind, I don't draw it, but in my mind, I try to structure information this way. So uh, the question you might expect to get for uh, this kind of uh, scenario is, to have a JSON file and to be asked to fill in the missing routes. In this case, you'll be asked to fill in the prefix match and the number of days here. So in my opinion, prefix match is something you will have to learn by heart to know what it means actually. And for the two, uh, two other um, parameters, you just need to read um, read them carefully. I don't think it's such a difficult question. So for slot one, the correct answer is exam test. And why is that? Because here actually um, the structure of that parameter is container slash folder. And in our case, the container name is exam and folder name is test. So it will be exam slash test. For the second slot, the correct, and actually for uh, this question, we'll go back uh, to Azure documentation to um, understand why is that. But um, let's go 
through all the sl missing slots and then we'll go back to documentation. So uh, for the second slot, days after modification greater than, so we want to go to tier to cool. And we said that if an object hasn't been modified the past 30 days, it should go to tier to cool. So this is quite straightforward in my opinion. And um, the same thing for tier to archive. If it hasn't been modified the past 90 days, then it will go um, to, uh, to be uh, archived. So um, I don't see any particular issue here. Maybe just for the first one, if you don't, um, if you don't know it. So let's go to documentation now. And actually, this is an example that you can find in docs.microsoft.com. And um, you'll see here for prefix match. You have sample container slash blob one. So the container name in this case is sample contain a sample dash container, and the folder name is blob one. So make sure you understand this. Uh, maybe something uh, if you are not very familiar to JSON parameter file parameters file, then maybe you might get confused by the order of parameters. What I can tell you from my experience is that it really doesn't matter. For example, here you have prefix match after base blob parameter. Uh, don't be um, scared during the exam day if you don't see the exact order. It doesn't really matter. What matters is what that parameter actually means and uh, what you need to fill, uh, fill in as input. <laughs> 